Here's one of those antennas that's so irresistibly simple, I had to build one and see if it worked. It's called the Hourglass Loop and is a slim, bi-directional, horizontally polarised antenna described recently in QST. The article is by John Stanley, K4ERO, and you can get it for free on the ARRL website. I'll have a link below. The hourglass loop, as its name suggests, is tall and narrow. The conductor comes together in the middle, but they do not touch. I'll give you a close-up later on. And it's fed right at the bottom. The antenna is basically a loop, two wavelengths in perimeter. Or more accurately, two loops, one stacked on another. It's made from a continuous length of wire or metal strip. I used 4.3 metres, exactly the length described in the article. Like the author, I wanted to use it on the bottom end of 2 metres for SSB and whisper contacts. The loop's dimensions are such that its feed point is 50 ohms, making connection to the coax feed line easy. I used the same dimensions in the article and didn't need to make any adjustments to get it to work. You really can't get any simpler. It's just 4.3 metres of metal conductor bent in an hourglass shape. Here's a close up of the middle of the antenna. The wire conductors come close but do not touch. You can see insulation from some old Cat5 cable and some cable ties to keep it mechanically rigid. The loop is about 37 centimetres wide and 180 centimetres tall. That could be handy for suspending from a high tree branch or even supporting on a telescoping squid pole. The narrowness may make it attractive for some portable applications compared to a dipole or beam which is about a metre wide. A good thing about this loop is it's a little bit shorter than a door. So you could mount it on a door and if you want to change direction, open the door. Although it's tall and thin, the hourglass antenna is horizontally polarised. That makes it handy for SSB contacts and digital modes like Whisper. I left the antenna operating on Whisper all night on 2 metres. I got some good results, as you can see from the screen display. I haven't done a head-to-head -head comparison between the hourglass and the oblong loop that I featured in a previous video. But I suspect this would have slightly more gain. With it being so simple to build and construction details readily available, why don't you get a piece of stiff wire, metal, bend it up and build one yourself. It only takes half an hour. If you do make one, I'd be curious to hear your results. Please let me know in the comments below. It's getting warmer and the next Melbourne QRP by the Bay is coming soon. Saturday, November 2, here at Victory Park, Chelsea. Starting time is 3pm. Just bring yourself and an interesting piece of equipment and enjoy the company.